I'm Carolyn Clifford and here are your 7 Action News headlines. Two employees were killed by falling granite at the Stone Warehouse of Michigan in Sterling Heights. An employee called 911 on Monday saying multiple slabs of granite had fallen on top of two of his co-workers. Sources tell us one of those workers was 28 years old, the other was 60. The names of the victims have not yet been released. A recovery effort is now underway to remove the bodies from the warehouse. A new twist in Michigan's budget battle. Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Republican legislative leaders have agreed to make finishing the 2020 budget priority number one. That means both sides are putting a road funding deal on the back burner. Whitmer had originally said she would not sign off on a budget without a roads plan. But that changed after both sides met over the weekend. Whitmer even canceled the news conference she had scheduled for this morning on the budget. The deadline to get something done is October 1st. All right, let's get a check on your weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with your 7 First Alert forecast. Hey, two weeks from today, fall starts, but give this week is hot. 87, no joke. Tomorrow, Wednesday as well, back to 84 Friday. Back to 85 Monday, so a little summertime feel is back. Uh, increasing shower and thunderstorm chances, especially Wednesday. And again on Friday, it's a little cooler over the weekend, but still got a shot at 80 on Sunday. All right, thanks a lot, Rexy. Michigan State University is backtracking on plans for an outside investigation of the Larry Nassar scandal. In June, the Board of Trustees voted to hire a Chicago law firm to look at how MSU handled sexual assault complaints against the sports doctor. But now the board is dropping those plans. Some members believe a federal investigation has already done the job. Last week, the Education Department fined MSU four and a half million dollars for its failures. Well, those are your seven action news headlines. We have those stories and a whole lot more on our website at WXYZ.com and of course on our seven app. Have a great night.